היי שלום אקים, יחו בהשם אבשי, מרק אדם, בהשם מכה קדש, דבר נוסן סלוטיישן, של אלדס ונפוסנס ובישפס ובמסטון, ואקים אקווה טרד פוקונס על ארד, הודי נונה סינסרית ונטרות, ודיליג'נס אוף מיין, תודה גוספל לורד אמשי אקי אבשי, דיס ברדה מנשה, הודה שוט לסן פודה הופו אילת. יאר, סו יאר רידה קווט אונד סקרין. about uh, the mindset of the elite of Edom. They just want to be in power forever. And uh, the, the quote that you can read on the screen is really powerful. So uh, here it says, uh, the aim of public education is not to spread enlightenment at all. It is simple. It is simply to reduce as many individuals as possible to the same level to breed and train a standardized citizenry to put down dissent and originality. So that's one of the agenda that uh, they've been employing to tear down the family structure, to tear down the educational system. And uh, who's this man called uh, H.L. Menk, Menken? All right. What does he say about him? Who's this guy? So when you go to his Wikipedia, all right, his full name is uh, Henry Louis Menken, born September 12, 1880, passed away January 29, 1956, and says uh, he's an American journalist, essayist, satirist, cultural critic, and scholar of American English. He's commented, he commented widely on the social scene, literature, music, prominent politicians, and contemporary movements. His satirical reporting on the Scopes trial, which he dubbed the monkey trial, also gained him attention. The term Mencanian has entered multiple dictionaries to describe anything of or pertaining to Mencken, including his combative rhetoric and uh, pro style. So he's just one of the uh, describes for the elites all right that's exactly what his job was okay so you can't uh run away from uh the facts of uh of of life okay when you have uh to deal with situations like this so what are the elites doing they're basically turning uh the livelihoods of people upside down, you know, they're diluting the uh, purchasing power of the people. So uh, that's the reason why there's so much chaos in society, all right? So that's a, a quick precept I'd like to read. It's from the book of Job, chapter 15, verse 35. It says, uh, they, conceive, they conceive mischief, right? Job 15 and 35. They conceive mischief and bring forth vanity, and their belly prepared deceit. And that's how they're able to deceive the people with, uh, with folly, all right? That's the reason why. So many people get uh, upset when uh, the team they are, they are rooting for lose because their mind is all tied up in folly. And who else could you point to? These so-called uh, architects <laughs> of uh, these people's perception. They want to have control of people's perception. That's why they have media, all right, to uh, project their uh, their ideas onto the minds of the people 
Okay. So I read from uh, the book of uh, Proverbs, chapter 15, verse 21. It says, uh, Folly is joy to him that is destitute of wisdom, but a man of understanding walketh uprightly. Yeah. So, um, this is a situation that a lot of people have to deal with on a daily basis. There's so much folly that you could cut it with a knife, man. You know, all these trends of, uh, of, uh, of things you see on TikTok here and there. It's just uh, an agenda to keep the people distracted and uh, have them relegated to the bottom of the barrel, all right? To have them fighting for scraps of the table of the elite, all right? So that's the reason why the Lord of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, has to uh, destroy this... Uh, rulership of Esau, right? And uh, the Lord has to tear it apart. That's that's all I can uh, can, can say. You know, thus far. Alright? Alright, so this is Isaiah chapter 59 verse 8. This is uh, another attribute of uh, of Esau's rulership, okay. Isaiah fifty nine verse eight says, "The way of peace they know not, and there is no judgment in their goings. They have made them crooked parts. Whosoever goeth therein shall not know peace." Yep, that's why the minds of the people is messed up because uh, they've drunk the Kool Aid. All right, they have drunk the Kool-Aid. Yeah, just like our people do want to hear the words of the Lord. Now they have to uh, deal with uh, the cruel overlords. <laughs> That's why uh, the Lord is very, very uh, strict when it comes to his uh, laws, statutes, and commandments. Alright? So this is another precept that I uh, need to uh, bring about. All right. This is a uh, from the book of Isaiah chapter fifty-two, verse five. Isaiah 52 verse 5. Now therefore, what have I here, said the Lord, that my people is taken away for nothing, that, all right, they that rule over them make them to howl, said the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Ashai, Bashem, Kakadash, and my name is continually. Every day is blasphemed. I read it again properly. Isaiah chapter 52, verse 5. Now, therefore, what have I here, said the Lord Yahweh, Bashem, Ashai, Bashem, Kakadash, that my people is taken away for naught? They that rule over them make them to howl. Make them to howl. Say the Lord Yahweh, Shema Shai, Shema Kadash, and my name continually, every day, is blasphemed. Yeah, so the Lord is upset that uh, our people are being uh, oppressed, and they're howling and yelling and screaming and protesting, but nothing seems to get better. All right, it's all cosmetics. Anytime Jake is making progress, Esau always has to uh, infiltrate and demolish, you know, always creating some uh, illusion of prosperity, some illusion of progress, you know. And now he wants to switch up the so-called uh, economic system 
to uh, cement his advantage forever. Yeah, so these are the concerns that uh, the Lord has been uh, observing over uh, Esau's rulership. All right, so this is another one. From uh, the book of Psalms. Let's see. Uh, let me pull it up real quick. All right. This is from the book of Psalms. This is from the book of Psalms. So this is uh, it's like you just build me one second. All right, here we go. So this is Psalms chapter 10, verse 3. For the wicked boasted of his heart's desire, and blessed the covetous whom the Lord abhorred. All right? And uh, you see the quote at the bottom by J.D. Rockefeller. It says, I don't want a nation of thinkers. I want a nation of workers. So these two Edomite men are on the same page. All right? And... Uh, they want that uh, rulership of theirs to uh, endure forever. And the Lord is already making it known. All right, that's why uh, these Edomite elites are upset. That's why they're pushing this uh, censorship so hard. Old videos are just getting striked down left and right. So channels are getting uh, flagged left and right. So it just shows you how uh, hurt they are. Because I know a message like this is powerful. Even if it only gets one view, you know, two views, whatever, an amount of views is still uh, eating away at their uh, conscience. And they know that, uh, hey, they want to stay in power. But when the minds of the people cannot be captured, cannot be uh, deceived into uh, lost and after their ideals that they keep pushing on on uh, on the media then there is a problem then they have to use another way to uh force the people that's why they're going after the children all right so that uh shows you they have a, a agenda of violence all right to perpetuate and uh, it's only a matter of time that uh, we're going to see that uh taking place all right, so that was the point that I came, you know, just a little uh, footnote in history. It's uh, so-called education that uh, the people are getting. It's not benefiting them the way it's supposed to be because it's uh, it's not really helping them out. What's the use of having an, edu an education? Where you can have a, a stable society with all of the so called uh, senators and congressmen, all these folks in government, all these big agencies, they are educated, but the economy is still a freaking mess, you know. So it just shows you that uh, the education that they're talking about is nothing, you know, to brag about because uh, the elite have uh, set their agenda in place. So that's the point that I came. You know, the Lord is the only one that will get out of this, man. The only education that you can really, really hold on to is the words of the Lord as an Israelite. All right? Because uh, there is no uh, power that can overthrow the words of the Lord. All right? That can overthrow the Spirit of the Lord. And uh, that's a fact. And that's where I stand. And I just got to, you know, keep on saying how. You know, call your warm all day. Shalom.